Hello guys and welcome back to this video uh, and this one we're going to install NLTK and we're going to see how we can use the NLTK features such as the stimmer, limitizer and all this kind of stuff. First of all, NLTK is a leading platform for, Python, for building Python programs to work with the human language. It is, it is widely used for natural language processing and it has a, strong, a large corpora and lexical resources resources such as uh, WordNet, which we are going to use later in this tutorial for limitizing. And um, basically, you cannot work in, L in natural language processing field without knowing about NLTK. So first of all, we need to install it using pip install NLTK. So inside your terminal, we're going to uh, initiate a command pip install NLTK. And of course, because I have it here already, it's going to tell me that it's already satisfied. And uh, don't forget that you can apply this basically by having an exclamation mark and applying pip install NLTK. It will have the same. It will have the same result actually because uh, this is basically is the same as applying it to your terminal. So after installing NLTK, uh, you need to install some corpora. For example, uh, some data that it doesn't come pre-installed with NLTK because it has a large size. So if you need instead, if you need any additional data in your NLTK, you have to start the NLTK and then start NLTK in the loader. So after installing NLTK, you can initialize a Python terminal inside uh, your terminal or even inside your notebook, and then we're going to import NLTK. So we're going to import NLTK. So if this line runs successfully, so that's mean that NLTK is already installed and everything's fine. So you can initialize the command NLTK download, which is basically going to initialize some GUI for you that you can install from it all the packages that have in NLTK. You can see here, this is the collections, these are the corpora, and these are the models, and all the, these are all the packages. You can basically go here and install all the packages if you have the enough space and you're going to deal with NLTK for a large time. And it's, instead, you can just go through the corpora and install the corpora that you want. The corpora that we're going to need is WordNet, so make sure you have WordNet installed. And uh, here we're going to install it and of course it tells me that the package wordnet is up to date because I already downloaded it so, so that's how you install NTK and its data so uh, you have all of these documented here in this notebook so if you needed to go back to it anytime you'll find it documented here so let's get it started first by import NLTK in our notebook and have some text here the text here please notice that the text here have wasn't which was which has a comma here and we're going to deal with tokenizers first let's see the normal tokenizer the regex tokenizer that we have built before which was surpassing uh, the split function of the string and you can see here that we have wasn't as a single word in some cases we need to interpret wasn't as two different words was and not because basically wasn't and was uh, we will treat it differently, but we need to have was and not because then we can deal with negation and we know that this was is uh, negated by the not. So uh, let's take a look at the tokenizer of the NLTK. We have NLTK dot would tokenize. So let's see the output of it. And you can see here that woes and not are separated. Woes and not are different tokens. And this can be very useful in some cases. So first, we have a word tokenizer that is better than the normal tokenizer. And of course, you can see here that the empty set is not included in the words. So you only have tokens that are actual tokens and not empty space. Now into stimming, to apply stimming, there are multiple algorithms for stimming in LTK and in general. The Porter stimmer is the stimmer that we have talked about in the previous tutorial, which basically applies some rules like removing some additional characters and reducing some different characters. So the rules for Porter stimmer can be found here. Uh, it is all documented in the uh, NLTK because it's an open source library so you can find all the code um, and you can go through it simply. So to use the portrait stemmer we're going to import the portrait stemmer from NLTK.stem and we're going to initialize an object, just stemmer object. Here we have some words, some plural words and we're going to see what the stemmer is going to apply to them and you can see here this is this is a different way of defining strings when you have some variables and you need to include these variables inside the string, you just use an F in front of your string and this is basically mean that this string is going to be a formatted string and by having query braces we're going to define variables inside the string and these variables are going to call the variables themselves here. So here we're going to have word and uh, this another curly braces we have going to have the stemmer dot stem which is the function that basically stem our string and we're going to pass the word. So applying this still 
we're going to have each word and its, its corresponding stem. So you can see here that it indeed apply the rule, which, which basically was saying that if we have SES, we're going to reduce it into a single S, and we have IES, we reduce it into I, and all these kind of rules that we have talked. We, we have looked into these rules in the previous tutorial, and you can double check it here in this. So that's how you use the, uh, the stimmer, the porter stimmer. There is another stimmer that is called snowball, snowball stimmer. One of the advantages of a snowball uh, stimmer over the portrait stimmer is that it supports different languages and uh, you can check the languages that the snowball stimmer supports using the snowball stimmer languages and you can see here it has Arabic, Danish, Dwedish, English, uh, French, German, Italian, all these kind of languages you can use and you can see it has the portrait stimmer which is basically an English stimmer which is this stimmer. So let's initialize our stimmer. We're going to initialize it and we need to pass the language that we're going to uh, be using and indeed it's going to be the English. So here we have the SN stimmer so let's apply the cell and let's take a look at the uh, the output of these cells. Basically most of the time the snowball stimmer and the portrait stimmer have similar results but in some cases the snowball stimmer um, is better. In most of the cases the snowball stimmer will be better. Uh, let's take a look at this one. We have here the SN stimmer and we're going to stim the generously word. Take a look at the stim it's generous. What about the stimmer, the portrait stimmer? If we use the portrait stimmer, we're going to have it into a gener because it's going to just remove all these uh, text. So snowball stimmer and portrait stimmer are similar, similar, but the snowball stimmer most of the time have better results. So uh, it might be better to go into snowball stimmer um, most of the time. So into limitizing, and as we said in the previous tutorial, limitizing is about reducing the word into its root. So to do so, we have to have uh, a, like a tree bank or a uh, knowledge bank that have all the word and words and its roots and uh, this is called the word net so here we have word net limitizer in LTK um, that's why we installed and download the word net corpora from the LTK download so initialize the uh, word net limitizer using a word net limitizer class and let's take a look at the uh, limitization of all the plurals words that we have defined um, here and let's take a look at this and uh, flies have been reduced into fly dies have been reduced into die and um, this might be a little bit weird but this is the root as limitizing seeds and uh, you can see here not all the cases are good but most of the case not all the cases are good but uh, each anywhere that it has already root for it it will be reduced into a root so in summary what we have done in this tutorial we have downloaded and installed NLTK and we also know how to download NLTK data we now know how to use the NLTK tokenizer and how it is better than the regex tokenizer we know how we now know how to deal with NLTK stemmers how to stem words both in border stemmer and uh, snowball stemmer and also in different languages because we have different languages in the snowball stemmer we know also how to use the word net limitizer from uh, NLTK. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to deal with different kind of features for our text, specifically the, the boss tags and the parsing tree. And we're going to see how we can apply these into our text. So see you guys in the next one.